These are some things that I really hate. It's a vlog, it's a vlog, it's a video vlog. Grammatical errors, because they're annoying. The word haters. Haters is probably my least favorite word in the English language, and I really like words, so that's a big deal. First of all, just because I disagree with someone on something, or I don't like something that they've made, you know, doesn't mean that I hate them. Like, that's, that's a big deal, hating someone. I don't hate you, I just don't like the thing you did, because I don't think it was good. Anytime anyone tries to lobby any kind of criticism against anyone for anything, they're just labeled a hater, and ignored. But, you know, you can't, if you ignore criticism, then you don't know when you did a bad job or not, and you don't know how to improve. Like, maybe the reason you have more haters than you do fans is because you're just not that good. Like, that's something you should know. When people cover themselves in odorous things to try to cover up their already present odor. As if it's not enough to just neutralize your body odor, like people need to add other things to it. Obviously, you know, you should shower, you know, and have good hygiene and use antiperspirant and like deodorant, like that makes sense. But adding like cologne and like perfume and like odorous things too, it's like that's just creating a new problem. I don't know how some people breathe with this stuff on. Like, I can't breathe around half of the people in the world because they cover themselves in odorous things. Like, <coughs> you know? Like, random girl I don't know, when I sit next to you in class, I don't want to smell copious amounts of coconut. Like, I don't need coconut shoved up my nose when I sit next to you. Like, coconut's not even a good smell. Who, who wants to smell like coconut? Not even that many people like coconut. Half the people I know are allergic to coconut. Like, coconut's not even... Even if it was a good smell, I don't want that much of it. Like, oh my god, it's like a meter around you. It's just like a cloud of coconut. Eugh, it's horrible. Humor that, that plays on prejudice. I don't mean all offensive humor, because like some offensive humor is actually good and funny because it makes fun of prejudice, you know? Like, it, it's satirical. It's funny because it, it amplifies prejudice and makes it so ridiculous that you, that you laugh because you realize how stupid it is, right? So, like, there's a lot of racial humor and gender humor that's actually really funny and not offensive if you actually get why it's funny. But then there's this branch of humor that really is prejudice, and it's supposed to be, like, observational. Like, I'm gonna talk about the prejudice, and you laugh because you assume that it's right, you know? Like, when people say, like, this group is like this, and this group is like this, and then it's supposed to be funny. Like, that's not funny, that's just talking about, that's just no Noticing prejudice, which is only funny because you're supposed to, you know, like it's observational. Ah, it's not funny! Stand-up comedians are horrible for this. They'll go up on stage and they'll be like, ah, women are all like this, and men are all like this. Ha ha! It's like, what? Or like, you know, like, black people are like this, and then like, white people talk like this. Ha! Like, this... Why are you laughing? That's not funny. Like, actually, the differences you're talking about between those people have more to do with their individual personalities than they do with, like, the color of their skin or what sexual organs they have. And the differences that do exist between those groups or cultures are because people construct their identities around the societal norms that are perpetuated by a society that is largely patriarchal and anglocentric. and you making that kind of joke is not helping. So, shut up and be original and funny in a different way. Like, duh. When people choose music for the sake of image, rather than anything else. So many people do this, like almost everyone I know chooses music this way, and half of them don't really realize it. It's not just mainstream people, I mean obviously like there's a large group of people who listen to mainstream music just because it's advertised to them and they're like, oh music video with pretty people, I want to be a pretty people, let's listen to mainstream music, yay, or like whatever. But then there's like hipstery people who do the same thing just listening to different music. They're like, you know, oh, I don't like this consumerist kind of whatever music, so I'm gonna listen to the weirdest, most indie thing possible. And, like, that's what the musician is doing. They're doing the same thing that the mainstream person is doing. The musician is like, I'm, you know, I'm gonna cordon myself off to this little bit of society and say I'm gonna reject that, so I'm gonna play the weirdest, most indie music ever and record it in the most lo-fi way possible so that indie hipsters will listen to me. It's like, what? You don't realize it's it's so hypocritical! The guy! And then there are the people who just, like, only listen to one small subgenre of music because they've decided that it's the best, you know? Like, people are like, oh, I only listen to experimental jazz fusion because it's technical and technical equals good somehow. Or like people were like, I only listen to like this kind of subgenre of death metal, like this subgenre of a subgenre of music. And when they listen to music, they think more about what genre would this be classified in rather than actually experiencing the music. And that's how they base their decisions on whether or not they like it, on what genre they think it fits in. That's not how you listen to music. Genre is just this made up thing. 
you know, this made up arbitrary distinction we make to, you know, classify and categorize music in a way that's easy for us. So we can talk about it, so we can put it in our iTunes library in a way that makes sense. But it's not, has no correlation to the goodness of the music. Obviously people have certain tastes, you know, whatever, but you should like music because it's aesthetically pleasing to you, or because you emotionally connect to it, or because you just like the message it gives. Not because, you know, of the genre that it is. That has nothing to do with the music. It's only a comment on how it was made, or in some way, like what instruments were used, what, what it sounds like. But that's, like, genre ends there. It has nothing to do with how good it is. It's art. When I make a video, I don't know how to end it. This is the song that I play at the end of the video. Yeah. <laughs> it's annoying.